Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner here with UFC lightweight Ramsey Najim. So Ramsey, you have a file fight coming up with Miles Jury. That's a pretty big fight at the UFC on Fox uh, 7 in San Jose. What are you anticipating coming up from Miles? He's a pretty tough guy. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he's a tough fighter. He's not going to quit. Um, I'm expecting a grind in war, but you know, I feel that <clears throat> I'm a more you know, experienced wrestler, more experienced fighter. I'm going to be bigger and stronger, so it's a good fight for me, good matchup, but I'm expecting a war, you know, a really tiring, grinding match between the two of us. That's going to be exciting, and everyone, everyone's going to enjoy it, probably except us. The crazy part about Miles is, like, he's actually only gone the distance, I think, once, and all the other wins are just in the first round. So how do you prepare for that, I guess, going into it? Um, you just get ready. You know, he's going to come out exploding out of the first round. Uh, he's undefeated. I fought a couple undefeated guys. CJ Keith was undefeated. I was the first one to give him a loss. And uh, another kid I fought outside the UFC was 10-0. and 0, And, you know, I get, he finished all his guys, too. And so I'm just going to have to move a lot right away. And uh, usually those guys, you know, they'll explode, then they settle in. So that's great for me, man. When people come at me, that's when, I'm, that's when I do my best. And I go forward, too. I'm not going to back up and and you know, let him get off. I, one of the best things I do is I, I come forward and I throw people off by being you know, in their face and grinding. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. He's gonna bring it and he's gonna show up to fight and so am I and that's, that's gonna be the funnest fight I think today. Yeah, CJ Keith was actually your first finish in the UFC. How big of a moment was that for you? Uh, you know, it was big and uh, definitely coming off that Danny Downs fight, I felt like I should have had to finish three or four times and then this last fight, I feel like I should have finished too. So to get that one finish, it was, you know, it, it feels good, but I'm looking for that every fight. So I was, I'm disappointed when I don't finish opponents because it's, it's a fight, man. I got to, I got to hurt him and beat him down and make him quit before uh, he just hurts me. You know, I look at it. It's not, not really a sport. Like people like to think, oh yeah, I'm going to go in there and score points, but no, I'm going to go in there and hurt somebody. That's what I'm trying to do. With the UFC, you actually came into it through the Ultimate Fighter, but here tonight you're going to be, I guess, are you working with Brock Jardine and Court McGee with the pit? That is, yeah. You know, uh, me and Court and Brock have been together from the beginning. Uh, you know, Court's been fighting a lot longer than us, but Brock Jardine and I wrestled in college and were roommates. Uh, he, he was done wrestling, he's a little bit older than me, and he's like, hey, I'm going to do this fighting thing. So we used to train by clearing out the living room and putting on boxing gloves, and that's how we trained for our first couple fights for him and me, and I was still wrestling. And then we got with Court, and we would go to wrestling rooms, and I, he'd wrestle with us. And next thing you know, we got a nice gym. We're all in the UFC. Rad Martinez is in Bellator. He's one of our big guys, too, and uh, Steve Siler. I mean, we all started together. It's not like a team of already established athletes came together. We all just started training together a long time ago because we're like, hey, this fighting thing's fun, and now we're all in the UFC together, and it's awesome. That's awesome. That's a great story, man. So I also understand that Dan Henderson is one of your heroes in the sport, and he's fighting tonight. So obviously in the co-main event, is that your pick, or is that who you're rooting for? Yeah, I mean, that's my pick, man. You can't stop the H-bomb. It's coming, and you, everyone knows it's coming, and it puts you to sleep. So I definitely love Dan Henderson. I grew up watch, watching him wrestle, and uh, when he started fighting, that's, that's actually the first guy I started watching fight because I was like, oh, he's a wrestler that's fighting. I want to see this fighting MMA thing, whatever this is, and then started watching that a little bit, and then now he's in the UFC, and I'm get to share uh, an arena with him. You know, I'm not fighting, but I get to see him, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's Dan Henderson. And, you know, I've, like, met, you know, famous people before, but he's the, probably the one that was like, hey, Dan, can I get a picture with you? <laughs> All nervous and sweaty. <laughs> the, both of you actually share something in common with the wrestling background. What are your thoughts on the IOC and the Olympics actually cutting that out of the, I guess, upcoming uh, Olympic Games? That's that's just sad. I mean, it, honestly, like it really makes me sad and disappointed in the IOC. I mean, you can go do synchronized diving and swimming. I mean, well, that's not a freaking sport. There's only two sports in the world: running and fighting. Those are the only two real sports: is fight or flight. You know, that's bred into us. All the other things are just games. So if we're playing basketball, we're playing a freaking game, and it's not serious. But if you're doing the Olympics with Olympic sports, it should be any form of fighting and any track event, basically, the only two real sports. So, I don't know, they're just going to kill a lot of kids' dreams. They're going to kill wrestling, you know, internationally. I don't know what these, like, Eastern European countries, people grow up just dreaming about wrestling. So, it sucks for them, too. So, tonight's fight, big co-main, I mean, sorry, big main event, Ronda Rousey, Liz Carmouche. Do you have any pick for that fight? I mean, I'm going to have to go with the favorite, Ronda Rousey. I mean, she is... 
sick nasty and I wouldn't even want to fight her like I th- feel like I'd get thrown in arm barred right away so I'm gonna have to go with Rousey I was uh we shared the workout room a couple times you know training with Court and Brock and seeing her drill and throw it was just I'm just really really impressed with her athletic ability and her her talent I mean she's amazing so I really have to go with her awesome well thank you for your time Ramsey and wish you all the best coming up at UFC on Fox thank you I appreciate thanks it. a lot